Good morning. Um, I just wanted to first off say thank you so much to everyone that has messaged us, um, that's commented on our post, and um, just to all the women who are going through the same thing that we are that got in contact with me and shared their story and was vulnerable enough to open up to me. Um, it's super encouraging to know that I'm not alone and to also be able to talk to people who have gone through the same thing and have had successes. It's just super, super encouraging for me and then in return encouraging for Jacob. Um, but I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the process um, after being diagnosed with PCOS. I wanted to go through just the medication and taking the medication and then uh, just kind of that uh, cycle. So first, since I was super irregular and I didn't get any periods, um, before they even did any tests to find out if I had PCOS, they waited, they wanted me to wait 90 days before I got my period because they thought that maybe it was from coming off of the birth control even though um, they had known that I was always irregular, but they just wanted to make sure. Um, and it ended up being that they waited 105 days before I got a period. So that obviously was a big red flag for them. And so after that, they decided they would jumpstart my period. Um, and so they gave me this medication called Provera. And I took it for, I think it was five days, and then waited. For my period and my period started um, four days later almost every single time I was put on this medication so with a cycle I don't know if you guys know a lot of people do a lot of people don't um, a regular cycle is 28 days that's just a normal if you have a period that is clockwork and day one is the first day of your cycle and so with that being said I would have my period and start it on day one and then what they did was on day five they would start me on this medication called Clomid and that was a medication that's supposed to help stimulate um, and grow your eggs and help mature them so that you can ovulate uh, and so they started me out on 50 milligrams and that's the lowest dose you could possibly be on and so I took that from day 5 to day 9 and then also what I did was on day 5 when I started the Clomid I also started the ovulation kits and that they had me they wanted me to take it all the way until it gave me a positive or I ran out of the kit <clears throat> so that obviously got pretty pricey a lot of the time they're like 20 to 40 dollars a box. It was a continual thing and then so day 28 obviously you're supposed to get your period but what they would have me do is every month on day 35 if I hadn't gotten my period they wanted me to take a pregnancy test just to see like um, they waited a, a week past so that it would be positive and it would show if I were pregnant but every month it was negative and so then this was a um, the cycle every month that they would jumpstart my period with Provera, start me on the Clomid and ovulation kit, test for pregnancy on day 35. And so we did this for um, eight months, I think. We started it in July, and then the last one was at the end of January. And so this was a continual thing. And then last week um, was day 35, last Wednesday was day 35 and that came up negative and then so today or yesterday was day 42 and so since we decided to stop the Clomid they just wanted me to make sure and check uh, every week past the day 35 and so I did take one and like all the other ones I don't know if you can see that it was negative which I'm used to. I wasn't disheartened by it. I kind of went into it knowing that it was going to be negative. After a while, you kind of just get used to it being negative and not expecting it positive. So um, that's just a little bit of the process along the way. And the other thing was is that Clomid is the some of the side effects are not fun 
For me, what happened was every time I took it, I got extremely sick um, to the point that I was getting nauseous, sometimes throwing up, because um, they started me on 50, and I did that for two months, and then they did, or two rounds, and then the third round, I did 100, and then the fourth and the fifth round, I did 150. So each time, I was getting more and more sick, because it was just a higher dosage. And so that was just one of the symptoms. The other symptom was I was extremely, extremely emotional. I cried a lot, I was angry a lot, um, I was hungry a lot. <laughs> and then the last thing is that it caused me to gain 30 pounds. I know that's a shock, but that, I mean, that can get really discouraging, you know, just being a certain weight for so long and then all of a sudden getting put on medication that makes you gain so much. It's not fun. Uh, so that's just a little bit of the process and symptoms that can come with it. Uh, and I just wanted to share that with you guys so that you knew because I know a couple of you guys were asking exactly what Clomid is and how that works. So I hope you guys have a great day and we'll see you next time. Bye.